Hello and welcome to another Warcraft the Audio Commentary. This is Zotac number 262 quarterfinals game two in the best of three between Inquisitive Hawk spawning as the light blue human on the left side of the map versus IOV dot Saturn. Yeah. I, I was going to do an announcer voice there. <laughs> I was like, wait, I, I, whatever. Anyway, so IOV.Saturn as the blue elf on the right side of the map. Looks like we're going to see a demon hunter coming out first with this, of course, a farm coming in from Inquisitive Hawk. Scout farms are nice. As you can see, if you watch game one, there was a scout farm that gave Hawk a ton of information throughout the whole game, essentially. And it's really nice. Of course, the one big benefit to the elf players, that this is what happens to elf players, is that they can always hide their Ancient of Buildings uh, right out of vision range of that farm. It's usually not too big of a deal to have a slightly open base as an elf player. And when I say slightly, I mean really open base. As you can see, this is a very, very open base from the elf player. Of course, it's going to AOW creep out this mercenary camp. Uh, of course, he has multiple wisps here, and this archer going to pull in the creep camp. And over here, we're going to see a footman coming down to harass. Looks like they're going to see Archmage first for the human hawk player. And as you can see, just nicely done. Going to go ahead and hawk actually going to go ahead and steal the forest troll shadow priest. Really nice by him. And of course, with that archer, it runs around to just be essentially really effective. And that's how you get the aggro exactly how you want it when you're creeping this out as an elf player. So nicely done. Here we're going to see this hawk is going to use this George uh, Forest Troll Shadow Priest to do some damage over here to this Archmage. Maybe even try to steal the Renegade Wizard here. Uh, he's going to try for it. But uh, the Demon Hunter goes ahead and uses that. Finishes off with Mana Burn. Nicely done. And these Footmen and Forest Troll Shadow Priest are going to maybe come in here. Yes, to try to harass a Wisp right here. Will they go ahead and get one? It's a possibility. Uh, it could, yes, one goes down, and now we're going to see perhaps a second one going down. Looks like that four shield trial piece is going to take a mana burn, and a mana burn is going to force it to pretty much run away. That footman is going to be able to pick off a second wisp right here. It looks like it's going to be really close if it doesn't. Um, nope, going to go ahead and get, oh, never mind. Oh, well, it could have. It could have. Nicely done. Uh, the footman, it could actually run a little bit farther back. I'm not sure if it could avoid being hit by this unit, but I think it might be able to if it just runs back. But uh, we won't see that, will we? No, if we won't. The Demon Hunter going ahead and picking that off and getting the experience. I don't know for a fact that, that the Footman could have run back. I know he could have ran about a bit, a back, uh, sorry, a bit back further. But um, that might have still been in the Demon Hunter range. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to see a Whisk going in here and getting a dispel, a dispel off. A Mana Detonate doing some damage to that Shadow Priest or the, the Water Elemental as well as taking away 50 of the Archmage's mana. The Archmage is going to go ahead and have two Shadow Priests at this point. It's essentially they're just priests, and of course, human players will love their priests. So there are those, and now we're going to see this town hall. Looks like Hawk is going to be going for an expansion this game as well. Uh, and we do see Saturn's Demon Hunter running here, picking up Boots of Speed. And as you can see, he's going to come down here and try to get some kind of harass off when the human player tries to expand there. We do see a bunch of militia on their way down, as well as some more footmen. So we might see, are we going to see a surround? Oh, the Demon Hunter has been surrounded. Really nicely done by Hawk. We're going to go ahead and force a TP. Unfortunate by Saturn. It looks like he might not have been paying attention just slightly right there. Maybe his screen was over here on a slightly different screen when that happened. Who knows, but he goes ahead and drops that per the periapticality. I'm not sure how you pronounce that first word. Uh, you might have noticed me struggling with that. like periapt? I don't know. Periapt? Periapt? I don't know. But anyway, uh-huh. Goes ahead and drops that when he before he uses the moon wells, and of course it's really beneficial because it saves moon wall mana. It's just always about being as efficient as you can. We do see Saturn and this art, Saturn going ahead and picking up a forest troll berserker. Essentially, these are like uh, troll berserkers from the orc. They're really nice to have. They're really nice to have. Really powerful units right there. Nice ranged, powerful units. But uh, anyway, we're gonna see down here. We're gonna see Hawk is gonna go ahead and get this expansion up almost halfway through level three at this point. And this town hall being speed built by four peasants. And of course, there's one right there going ahead and get in the tower. And we're gonna see the demon hunter sneaking around from underside as the human player runs across the map to this shop. Oh, this is unfortunate for Hawk because now this demon hunter has free reign over here without having to worry about anything at all. Gonna go right click on this arcane tower that. Raccoon actually doing a little bit of blocking right there. Nicely done by the raccoon. <laughs> he was just like, I'm going to be blocking you. But um, and giving, unfortunately, Hawk not, uh, or I mean, unfortunately, Saturn not really. Why does my unit selection keep just disappearing? I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I, I, it, anyway, if I can speak, um, 
Unfortunately, that Demon Hunter actually didn't really do anything at all over here. He got a couple of hits off onto that tower, but he was not able to cancel it. And when he realized he wasn't going to cancel it, he went for the peasants. And that was when Hawk had finally got back over there. So it was a nice, nice sneak around, but not not really enough to actually do anything which is a little bit unfortunate but he is of course slowing down the archmage creeping so there is that and if we look over here we do see a huntress coming out which is a nice interesting choice from Players saturn are under uh, getting a huntress as well as uh, pretty much just a huntress i'm not sure what exactly he intends to do with that but it's interesting nonetheless and this raccoon again just being mvp raccoon right there most valuable raccoon i've ever seen uh just chilling out trying it didn't was it a huge deal that it blocked the demon hunter no it really just prevented maybe one maybe two hits from the demon hunter on a peasant but i still you know still still maybe it even worked out in saturn's favor maybe he would have went deeper in and then got surrounded and died who knows who knows either way i just like it when raccoons do raccoony things so anyway we're gonna see saturn now getting that expansion up i'm not sure where i think he might have built it over here because i did just look down here a second ago and it wasn't here so but maybe he just built that immediately after i screened off i don't know but anyway we're gonna see this shadow priest gonna go down and another shadow priest taking some damage as well is he gonna go down as well it could looks like they're gonna go ahead and focus down on the shadow pro troll berserker nope the shadow priest gonna go down to a mana burn nicely done and this wisp is gonna go down as well gonna get a detonate off however not feeding experience over here to the uh, hawks army Archmage or whatever. And we're going to see Hawk's Shores Troll Berserker going to go down right there. And looks like this is Saturn's Force Troll Berserker taking some damage. Saturn going ahead and picking up a Mud Golem as well. Will Saturn's Ghost, yes, indeed. Level 4 on the Archmage. Now, the Archmage is slightly surrounded here, partly by his own army. But he's not going to worry about that. He's just going to TP out. And Hawk does go ahead and pick up the Ogre Mauler. So I think I might have just messed up the player names pretty badly right there. But either way, we do have Hawk now with a up and running and secure expansion. As well as Saturn getting that expansion up and running as well. Nicely done. Hawk can go ahead and buy some more Mercenaries. Getting up another Forest Show Berserk. Perhaps going to buy a, another Ogre Mauler. Ogre Maulers are, of course, very nice to have. Going to go ahead and go with the Mud Golem. Of course, that's essentially a sorceress that is immune to magic. Magic, which is really nice however it does mean you can't heal it so there is that and it's very very low on HP very easy to kill but mud golems extremely effective little units uh, sorceresses of course are better but mud golems well I guess it depends if you're trying if you if you're worried about it being nuked a mud golem would be a better choice but in this case it's really just all about availability and what is available the mud golem is available now you're gonna see this is a fight the panda has been picked up uh, and when I say this is a fight what I should say is it looks like Hawk is just gonna get a few units picked off as he runs across the map I'm not actually sure how many units he's going to lose I know he's, he lost the mud golem looks like he's actually gonna try to kill the short stroll berserker that ogre mauler now running away very slow unit but very beefy unit essentially Kind of like an uh, abomination, kind of like a knight. Maybe maybe a better word would be a grunt. Maybe a, a grunt. It's kind of like a grunt. A big, Later beefy grunt. Are under attack. We're going to see Saturn. Forest Trail Berserker is going to be just chilling out. And we just see some damage going off onto this Huntress. And that Huntress is going to be just fine. The Archmage again now slightly surrounded with this time. No teleportation scroll at all. Going to be forced to run away out of that fight. And uh, looks like this Forest, the Forest Trail Berserker from Saturn is going to take some damage. However, he's not going to have an issue. He does get in use of the Mana Well and runs away. But now it looks like he might be in some issues here. Uh, nope. Going to be fine. Getting away at 21 HP. Uh, looks like this army from Hawk is going to go for the Ancient of Lore instead. I'm guessing he's okay with losing all of these footmen right here. He may very well be because uh, he did last game. But the last game he didn't have quite a bit of spoils from that. He picked off uh, probably. You know what? I'm not going to actually say that. Um, I forgot. I don't want to spoil the games. Okay. Anyway, we're going to see Hawk killing a four show Berserker right there that was chilling out in the back of Saturn's base at about 20 HP with his Water Elemental. And that's nicely done. Going to go ahead and run away the rest of his Footman army as well as this four show Berserker. Nope. This four show Berserker. Ah, yes. I was just, uh, just going to go ahead and kill his own Footman. That was very low on HP right there. And we do have, uh, it looks like, it looks, it looks a little bit like, uh, like Saturn's down here to this shop and picking up some nice items. There you go. Two scrolls of healing as well as a potion of lesser invernability. Nicely done. Good items to have. Great items to have, actually. And we're going to see the hawk. The hawk. The hawk. That's what we'll call him. The hawk. Uh, coming in here. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know, brain. I don't know. What are you doing to me? But uh, we see two arcing sanctums being built as well as a workshop right there. And it looks like... Uh, 
that our King Tinkton is going to take a lot of punishment and Hawk is just going to leave it. He says, you know what, I know for a fact that my base is in good shape here. Uh, I have level 1 on masonry upgrade and I have some peasants repairing this our King Tinkton and I'll just go ahead and start researching my adept training for my sorcesses right there. I'm not even going to worry about it if you kill it because I'm going to be coming over here to your base where you happen to have two Ancient of Wars and trying to make some Dryads. It looks like that Ancient of War going to immediately be uprooted and it looks now like a Hawk, is, or I'm sorry, Saturn saying, you know what, uh, you're right. I don't want to be attacking a place of education and higher learning or they're researching some training stuff for adept sources. Says, I need to go back here to defend my base. And we have some Wisps coming over here trying to uh, just get some detonates off. Nicely done. Uh, picking off that Water Elemental in a perfect way. Getting the last hit with the Dryad means they get experience for the heroes. One Ancient of Lore does go down. Hawk now going to run away. This Ogre Mauler is going to be in a bit of trouble here. It's going to be slowed by that Dryad. Is he going to be able to get away from this? Uh, probably not. Down goes the Hawk's Ogre Mauler getting stabbed in the back. Oh. And Hawk with this footman going to go down as well, getting slowed by the Mud Golem. And he just turns around and says, you know what, I'll take one for the team. And I'll let you think that Hawk ran over this way, but uh, the rest of the army came up this way. So we do have the Blood Mage out as the second hero for Hawk. And now Saturn being wise as you could imagine. Uh, maybe that's not the case. <laughs> Maybe he's just going to come up here and try to creep. Uh, go ahead and try to creep. However, Hawk is waiting right here in surprise. Saying hello. And going to go ahead and start doing some damage. This Archmage is surrounded yet again, taking some damage. Uh, he does have a TP, so he can get out of here if he needs to. And he needs to. So there's the TP. Down goes one Archer, trying to take out this four Troll Shadow Priest as well. Going to go ahead and not quite get it at the 13 HP. And going to have to heal himself. And of course, now we have that Demon Hunter tanking this, as well as this Panda. They're going to be able to finish this creep off before Hawk can do anything about it. We just have some uh, some nice mortar teams out that could be used to help attack the. Oh my! <laughs> I think I think we all know what we're about to see here. And well, I guess we're looking at it. Invisible mortar teams. That's what we're watching. I don't know. I didn't think I'd ever see that actually happen in a professional level game. Um, but that's okay. Again, professional level being used however you want to say it. Of course, Hawk is a long-time professional player. He's a very good human. I don't know if Saturn is actually a professional player. I don't think so because he's on IOV. I don't know if any of those players would be considered professionals, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, really, it's all semantics at this point. And we do have these invisible mortar teams coming in here, and what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They have their choice of pretty much whatever they want to do. Saturn's army is right there, and perhaps they're going to wait until uh, some some more units come over there. It looks like we do have these uh, footmen, this little bit of army coming in here to do this bit of creeping by themselves, solo creeping, nicely done. And here is the level 4 Archmage, about to level 5. Going ahead and summoning this, and these mortar teams are going to go ahead and immediately start taking some nice, uh, start doing some nice damage to this Ancient of Lore. Where is Saturn's army? Saturn's army is up here creeping. Down goes one more, and are they going to be TPing out of this? Or they might go ahead and try to finish this, uh, this Ancient of Lore off. Looks like we're going to see a TP coming out. And bye bye says uh, these mortar teams and these heroes. So nicely done. Uh, nicely done. Yes, indeed. Are we going to see some more mortar teams? Yes, indeed. More mortar teams. Looks like pretty much this whole army down here has died. Uh, probably pretty much the plan from Sat from Hawk. Just saying, you know what? I don't need these units any longer. My my bases are quite good. And I don't really want to be fighting anymore. I want to be using my mortar teams and my invisibility potions. And potions, uh, spells. Which is what he's going to do. And that'll be nice. And he has one sorceress right there. Going to go ahead and make a second sorceress. And... Is he going to go ahead and just get rid of invisibility, all of these guys? It looks like he might. And the fake demon hunter coming in here to see... Did he see it? Possibility. It's a possibility indeed. And uh, there is one mortar team going ahead. Seeing an invisibility spell cast on him. And now this army can essentially just run over here if it would like to. And there's no way for Saturn to really know where that army is going to be. That's brilliant. Very nicely done by Hawk. He's going to get another Hawk mortar team out. Is he going to go ahead and cast that? Oh, nope, he's going to leave it there for base defense. Three mortar teams. And this water until, of course, is actually not invisible. He's chilling out, doing what he's going to do. And fade away. Level, level five on this Archmage. Everybody sees bears are up. 
and Saturn is just going to creep this out. Over here we can see that he does have a few lures up, and it looks like he's rebuilding. He's building up an Ancient of Wind up there, but he's going to have a bit of an issue here because there are going to be three mortar teams. There's a TP's girl on the Hawks, Archmage. They're coming back in here. Are they going to go straight for this Tree of Life? They could do exactly that, so we'll see. It looks like that's going to be the case. You see a nice uh, Blood Mage Flame Strike coming in here and immediately seeing a ton of damage going off. Oh, these are level. These are three attack damage upgraded mortars. There's a fourth one right there, and nicely done by Hawk. Really nicely done. Trying to pick off these lures as well. I'm going to TP out. And will he actually, will Hawk be able to, t t to lose anything there? No, it looks like he didn't lose anything at all. Tree of Life immediately being rebuilt right there. Uh, and of course, whenever you're dealing with this, you need to immediately uproot whenever this happens. And that's one of the powers of being invisible. You can run in and make it very unexpected. But it, the reason that you want to uproot is it, turn, it converts your fortified armor into, uh, I, I think it's heavy armor. I don't really remember. It's it's some it's a different type of armor that doesn't take extra damage from siege attacks, which is really nice. And that's what the is what you need to do to help deal with that. Of course, with flame strike, uh, with with all of the damp. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry about that. Um, sorry about that. That not that was nothing. Um, but anyway, um. So with all the damage that's coming out from Hawk's army, he's going to have a pretty pretty big issue dealing with this. Um, really, no matter whether he uproots them or not, there's just so much damage. We do see a fairy dragon out at this point. Nicely done. We do have Saturn guarding this tree of life. But of course, Hawk does have abilities here. The, abil I mean, the ability to come over here to the main base as well, should he want to. And he's running up to the top, so he might. Goes ahead and picks up another Pendant of Energy for his Blood Mage. And nicely done. Going to have 630 mana at level 2 now. That's a lot of mana to have on a Blood Mage. Uh, quite a bit indeed. Now we do see Hawk coming in here. He does have a Tome of Retraining. He can go ahead and get a Blizzard should he want at this point as well. Or even level 3 Brilliance or whatever he decides to do. Looks like level 3 Blizzard with Aura level 2. Which is going to be able to do a ton of AoE damage. Immediately take out this Tree of Eternity. There goes the tier 3 from that building. Uh, we're going to see perhaps a staff being used to stave this mortar team, perhaps. Yes, indeed, there goes the staff. And are we going to see this mortar other team die? We're going to have a TP going off. And it looks like the rest of the mortar teams, none of them, are going to go down. Really nicely done by Hawk. Now, if you think about what's going on here, it's costing uh, Hawk 350 gold every time he does this. But he killed five wisps right there. And he also took out a tier 3 main so Saturn is in a huge issue here and as you can see let's see it's yes it is indeed heavy armor which takes extra damage from magic attacks such as flame strike and blizzard so there so even if you uproot your your tree of life here you're going to be in a bit of issue no matter what happens now you see it looks like triple griffin avery going down that's nice and tri triple griffin avery is going to be just ridiculous uh looks like another tp scrolling being picked up and this time again four of these border teams with no issue, just coming down here. Do we have another one up here? Maybe it's still being staffed. Nope, it looks like it already healed up and has come down, or perhaps it was dispelled or something. But it looks like it's already healed up because there was one mortar team that took some damage. And it looks like we're going to see a reveal coming in here. I'm not sure what revealed. It looks like it ha must have been the Arcane Tower because I don't think there's anything for the elf. And, and yeah, essentially what happens is... Uh, let me look. Let me check the, 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 the Night Elf Heroes. Yeah, that was from the elf, the human, the human. I'm sorry. Uh, if you, there's a research upgrade that most people normally don't get, but you can get it as your arcane towers that essentially lets them act as reveals. They can cast a reveal just like uh, a goblin laboratory. But you see, actually, two chimera roosts going down as well. The tree of life right here being spotted by hawk, and both of those are going to go down. That's oh, this is so frustrating to play against. Unfortunately, there's really not a lot Saturn can do against all of this kind of harass. I mean, at this point in the game. Um, could he uh, on this map? It's gonna be really difficult, but uh, he needs to just if he could find the army, he's gonna lose quite a bit of mortars now. It looks like, or at least one more going down. I guess it's Blood Mage also going down. So we did see one of those mortar teams being staffed out right there, as you can see. But the Blood Mage did go down, and a mortar team did go down. Uh, so Saturn was finally able to do something against this, but um, he's just taking so many losses right now. Plus the fact, you know, he really should have. He probably, I say, really should have. Um, 
<laughs> that's kind of ridiculous for me to say, but what I meant to say is like you really needed to maybe hide those Chimera Roos somewhere else on the map and perhaps not side by side. You needed some way to keep both of them alive because putting both of them right there, it does have its advantages that it's, you know, one thing you can defend both at the same time. However, the problem is, is that when you do have these mortar teams and this Archmage and Bl uh, Blood Mage rolling as one, it just means that if they're together, they're both gonna get found if they get found, and then there's that. You know, we I, what we saw happen happens, um, where they both go down, and then you don't have any Chimera roosts. Uh, of course, maybe what happened was he immediately built those as soon as this tier three started going down. Uh, that's a possibility, so he didn't have time to move them away. I'm not really sure exactly what happened because I didn't quite catch it, and that's my bad. Um, sorry about that, but. That's a possibility. That's a very, very good possibility, in fact, and I would imagine that's probably the case as to what happened. Now, we would see it looks like triple Griffin Averys are going to be used to produce mass Griffin Riders. Of course, they do have two zero attack upgrades, really nice, and they're going to be really strong. So there's already two out. They're going to be three more on the way out, and uh, Hawk, or sorry, yeah, Hawk is sitting at 74 out of 100 food. He may go all the way up to 100, fo 100 food because he does have 2.3k gold right now. He's running slightly short on wood, but has a lot of gold lots of gold of course that's the nature of banking sometimes when you don't really want to bank as much wood as gold it looks like we're gonna see a blizzard being used to finish off this creep um, I don't know who's I think one of the players we saw one of the players doing that creep earlier on I don't remember which who it was but either way gonna go ahead and finish off that creep camp it probably was Saturn because uh, Hawk probably wouldn't have cast a blizzard right there to just do one murloc but maybe maybe he would maybe he Maybe, who knows? I don't know. Maybe didn't remember whether there was some invisible units. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I'm yawning, and I don't know why I'm yawning. I have no idea. I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. I guess it's the lull of the game. The lull of a game can be very boring. can put me to sleep sometimes. 3-0 now with inner attack. fire on these Griffin Riders. Very nicely done by uh, Hawk. And over here for Saturn. Holding on. He's holding on, which is impressive. I gotta say it's impressive, but it's it's still... It's not a huge amount of holding on. I can see one lone Ambergriff out for the Sky. Not gonna be able to do a whole lot against all of these really nice, really nice uh, uh, cast. This huge army from Hawk. And uh, if we look, we can see at 100 out of 100 food, going to bring in a bunch of militia. The fight starts, and these are fully upgraded sorceresses. Going to see some polymorphs going off. Fully upgraded priests. Going to see all these inner fires. Uh, some polymorph bears unable to do anything at all. Blizzard being cast, and Saturn just sort of being overrun right here in this fight. Unfortunately for him, we do see 3 1 upgrades on those on those uh, Griffin Riders, and these bears are just 1 0 upgrade at Master. So. Quite unfortunate, of course, the one also on the mortar teams. Uh, just really kind of uh, a walkover at this point. So unfortunate for Saturn. Of course, that can happen sometimes. You know, good game is called. And so that's good game. Um, so congratulations to Hockey moves on to the semifinals. And congratulations to Saturn for making it to the quarterfinals. I mean, that's that's pretty good, too. Um, so there is that, and that's game two, and of course that's a best of three, so there's no game three, but if you didn't catch game one and you want to, just click right to here, and, uh, I will see you guys perhaps in the semifinals, and, and which will be going up sometime today as well, so when I say today, uh, it might be in the morning tomorrow for me, I don't know, time zones and all that, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time.